Paul, this is truly an eight-point striker, DC. A Muay Thai practitioner making the walk to the octagon yet again here tonight. I love the way he stands high on his toes whenever he's approaching. The hands are high, not always close. They're just up and high. He's bouncing on that back foot, and everything he throws has no load up. The outside leg kick is truly something special. He will brutalize you with the leg kick, and the moment you start to switch your stance, he will go across to the opposite side to beat that leg up. Then you get desperate. You start trying to grab him. That's when you start to run into the knees. You start to run into the elbows. He's just the most brutal guy that we've seen in the UFC for a long time. And at last check, there are no gloves or any padding on the feet or the knees. Nothing so to protect you. Caution, flammable. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking. The guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Rafael Alamed Pizian! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponent in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Nice punch there by Nurmagomedov. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands often. 
So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defense. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Powerful leg kick land. That shot blocked by Nermago Meta. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And both guys really throwing with authority. <laughs> Caught that kick there. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. He's a full-on... This is his bread and butter, to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing, and when his opponent over-engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left, or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. And he landed the right hand there. Way to hide that leg kick. Cut above the eye. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lance, uh, glancing right hand upstairs. Nermago Medov gets caught by another jab. His opponent has been masterful in terms of splitting that defensive guard tonight. Final seconds of round one. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damage. Oh, that's 
the biggest shot of the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big ball punch man. Now we get back to range. the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big head kick lands. Just misses there with the left. Nice straight punch. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Kick to the body by Nermago Meta. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. The elbow there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Landed that punch flush. Big head kick lands. Be first, be first. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Keep Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Connects with a right. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick lands. Just out of range with that left hook. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he was coming high, but now he's got him hurt bad. Good punch, Lance. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it's home. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, hey, just truly mixing shot. up take the target. Shot. Sight to behold. He blocks the punch. Straight punch lands. Keep your hands up. Oh man, that cut is nasty. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Straight right is there. There you go. Stand tight. Stand tight. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Nermago Meta. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep throwing. Great round, great round. He has no answer for the leg kick. I want you to get out there and 
All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. There, huge block for him. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice loop and punch. Just missed with the left there. the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side. Ooh, what a punch. Nurmagomedov gets absolutely melted by that head kick. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nurmagomedov's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice punch by Nurmago Meta. Oh, and he caught the kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Not there. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Big punch land. Ooh. Nurmago Medov gets hit by that leg kick. Relax, relax. There's no tell on that leg kick. Lands with the right hand. Big kick. Medov's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick.
good anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 33 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Rafael Alamazian! Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO, and if the judges were looking at their phones,